taken a lot of photographs with this particular camera and the only photographs that I've ever taken that have made the front covers of magazines have been taken with this uh, specific camera, with this actual camera. This is a uh, Yashica uh, 635 twin lens reflex camera which I'm going to put on eBay at the uh, beginning of October 2010. Um, but I just thought it would be helpful for the winning bidder to see how uh, some of the accessories fit with this camera. Twin lens uh, reflex uh, viewing is through the the top and there's a two inch uh, square glass screen there and uh, focusing there to assist with the focusing press that in and there's a magnifying glass uh, that uh, allows you to focus on the glass screen and to uh, get pin sharp pictures so uh, there's uh, viewing uh, through the uh, screen there. I don't think I can actually get uh, uh, that on the camera or if you press this in the lens popped up this front panel continues to go down clicks down and then you look through this aperture and this aperture and you can uh, see uh, where you're uh, pointing then to release that panel press this that pops back up, that pops down, and you close that up. Oh, uh, in here, don't know if you can see there's a, um, a red rectangle. That is where the 35mm uh, image appears on the screen. This camera will take both 120 roll film and 35mm this is an accessory that I've never used uh, but when you use the camera in the point and shoot mode you clip this onto there then when you open up press that down now when you look through this aperture you're looking through here so you'll see that in fact the uh, that would be uh, landscape there and uh, again uh, you point and shoot. The speed settings are adjusted with this dial here and uh, they go from five hundredths of a second down to one second and there's also B where the shutter is opened continuously. Uh, the aperture is controlled by this control and that goes from uh, f22 uh, through to f3.5 uh, once there's a film in the camera and you're ready to take the picture the shutter release is cocked manually and it's released there uh, other features on the front here are the uh, flash gun connection and the control for uh, m and x positions in the X position you can set the uh, self timer, prime uh, the shutter and then when you uh, press the shutter release uh, so the self timer will come into action and operate the shutter. Uh, this camera doesn't have the facility for a cable release so instead of using a cable release I always used uh, this feature to uh, take a, uh, a picture. I've always used this camera with a tripod. Okay, uh, other features. Uh, this side is uh, used for 35mm only for winding on the film. A uh, little control that you release when it comes to uh, rewinding the film and um, uh, the winding uh, buttons which I'll go through in a minute. On the other side we've got the uh, the 125 um, 
uh, wind on and uh, of course the uh, the focusing showing uh, distances oh and uh, this little window here that um, is used for indicating the loading of the 120 film uh, this is a uh, 120 roll film camera is open by twisting that dial there that there we have to insert a, a take up spool locate the the film that goes onto the spigot there and that's pulled to release that there the tape is unfolded and goes into the slot in the take-up spool roll it on until this arrow is lined up with those two arrows there close the camera and we continue to wind that on uh, an S for start has just gone from the window and it will get to the position where it's clicked and it says number one the first frame is ready to take we will now open it up focus it look through the viewfinder we've just taken a picture with this sort of camera the easiest mistake to make is not to wind it on i used to get into the habit of always winding on you have to press that central button on. now it says number two in the window we're ready to take the second picture so we would uh, focus set our um, speeds and aperture and again take the picture what happens with the uh, 120 roll film is you keep on taking um, pictures and winding on picture wind on etc etc till you get to the end of the uh, uh, spool and then you must never do this I, but uh, I'm going to wreck this film there when you open up the camera eventually you've got to a stage where you've wound it on and all of the film that was on here has now gone on to the end and um, the, uh, the, the this paper covers the end of the film um, I'm just going to take this out of here and show you I say this is completely wrecking the film um, if you haven't seen roll film before that is the film that will form the negative that's a film that will form the negative and this is just a paper backing uh, and that'll be disposed of when uh, when the film is exposed. So I'll just get that out of the way. Um, to uh, put the uh, 35 millimeter film in, we take this device and screw it onto there. Uh, we can take the 35 millimeter film now, insert this device into there that goes there this device pulls out and that locates onto the end of the film there at the other end this is a 35 millimeter uh, film uh, spool that we're putting in now that locates there that pulls out there and we have to turn that until it clicks into position so now uh, the the action is on the 35 mil only side so uh, for the 125 we sorry 120 I keep saying 125 I don't know where I've got that from uh, on the 120 roll film we press that to allow us to wind on on the 35 millimeter we press that to allow us to wind on I've taken a lot of double exposures with this camera. Uh, the gate is, uh, it goes in with the sprockets at the top, these sprockets here, and uh, there's a little cross here that must engage with this device. Remember I said there's a device we pull out when we rewind. That has to be pulled out. Uh, the gate clicks into position. Uh, to take it out you pull that down and that up uh, but when the gates put in there this must be out then release that 
to uh, to drop that into position but we'll we'll leave it out for the time being uh, pull the film out put the tail probably not easy to see this put the tail into the slot wind it on until it's engaged set that device back in put the gate uh, pressure plate on there there's I uh, didn't say before put the uh, gate on actually make sure that the sprockets are correctly engaged uh, in the sprocket holes in the film pressure is applied to this plate uh, by by that back plate there that closes like so and twists now we're uh, we're ready to uh, to wind on so we'll wind it on what we're doing is we're taking the film that was exposed to the light and uh, taking it uh, so that we've got several wound on so now we've got virgin film in there uh, set this to zero and then it uh, it counts up each time you expose a frame uh, so uh, so so it counts up uh, so when you get to the end of the film and you've used it all up then you must pull this rewind button that releases the sprockets in the film and then to rewind it you wind this until you actually feel the film uh, running free as probably as on most 35 millimeter cameras uh, as I said at the beginning of this video I'm selling this camera on eBay it's going to come with a little accessory holder for the gate and the other 35 millimeter uh, components um, uh, two lenses um, these are telephoto lens that's the, uh, the main lens that clicks into position there and uh, the viewing lens I've lost one of the lens caps uh, for this over the years I've taken a lot of photographs with this particular camera and the only photographs that I've ever taken that have made the front covers of magazines have been taken with this uh, specific camera with this actual camera I'm getting rid of it because I live in a smaller property now and I simply haven't got space for uh, all of my toys so uh, thanks for watching hope that's been of uh, interest and uh, of help to you